Hey everyone, GameBro here, and this is Let's Play Devil May Cry. And sadly, Azari Moon is not with me. Yes, I believe I mentioned my LP that I'm gonna have him join throughout the whole LP, but um, I'm afraid that's not gonna be the case. This was actually recorded several months ago when we actually did do live commentary, but um, somehow, just somehow, like during another recording, I forgot to um, save like the audio file for our commentary. Um, certain point I don't know how I could have made that mistake but um, what's done is done and I'm gonna have to redo the commentary for this and without him same for part four but hopefully from there on I can get him to join me again I just don't think it'll work as well let's both working on post commentary It's hard enough from just me to work on post commentary alone. Just me. I hope for your sake you got something inside that big body of yours. That's be what the sub tiles are for, just for bosses um that are hard to comprehend. So this, you need to attack the body, um, try to get on it, it's pretty tricky jumping, actually. Avoid the lava, it summons, and other attacks. The scorpion spider boss thing. And this one I had to try like, um, seven times before I got it right, um, after the first death, I'll be showing where I'm actually you'll be um, succeeding. Again, try to be wise with the devil trigger. And if you didn't have trouble with this game up to this point, um, you just might now. This is where difficulty really um gets insane although I am of course able to overcome it eventually yeah I kinda got halfway through then for like the time I succeeded I didn't show off like the second half of the HP but it doesn't show off like any new attacks anyway it's pretty much just more of the same so not really skipping much and because I've failed six times I won't have to have used any of the yellow orbs, thankfully. Pretty short mission, just where difficulty rise quite a bit. <clears throat> yeah, hopefully I can finish this LP before too long. Hopefully I can get his Dari Moon to join me for parts five and beyond. On to the next. Air Raid. That is one of um, Alistair's moves, or at least the title, um, for Beautiful Joe. I remember a long time ago I planned to, like, at the time I was going to get Beautiful Joe. Which I already re-recorded, as you probably can tell. Um, I was originally going to work on this game and Beautiful Joe side by side. Like, one day I post this and the next day I post Beautiful Joe. I was originally going to do that, both being short games and both being developed by Capcom. But um, that was obviously never the case. But when recording this, I haven't even started replaying Beautiful Joe yet. Um, but um, as I'm recording this commentary... It's been a while since I finished that game. Yeah. Seems very slow to make progress, but, um. Really wanted to get this game over with. More so than ever. I posted part one and two because I, like, really couldn't figure out what else I wanted to LP, um. And when I struggled with some glitch with. Sonic Adventure, which wasn't actually a glitch, but um, me being ignorant about this whole Chaos Emerald thing.
Yes, she used the pride of lion. Slight of sin a few times. It gets destroyed. And now we have a mini boss. Right off the bat. Dodge. It's a very quick opponent. This boss probably not as difficult as a scorpion boss. Um, but um still gonna be a nuisance. Like no novice is ever going to finish this boss either. What I recommend, um, keep shooting it, um, I use a shotgun, but that's just my preference. Fight a star. You try to be very wise to use them, um, but when the weak spot is open, just like that, keep slicing as much as you can, um, preferably go to use the devil trigger, because I'm probably going to restore it fully, um, like, Inspect that form anyway. Keep using the triangle button when possible. If if it devours you, um, you'll take some damage for it. But, but to me, it'll explode and you'll be defeated. Took quite a bit of HP for me, but at least it only took me my first try. Thanks, Lee's. Boss was generous enough to drop health. Right off the bat, more combat. There's a lot of it in this game. And there's quite a bit of exploring. But it's a lot of action as well. <coughs> Up the stairs we go. A lot of floors. Deadly marionettes. And that is where I need to head to. The room in there. The mirror. Beautiful mirror, it says. Statue of a female. The melancholic expression. There's an opening. If only this was live commentary, but good job past me for screwing up on it. It's sealed shut. What exactly did I need to do? I don't remember. Um, it's been several months since I've done any part for this, so I'm. Yeah, pretty sad. Several months, um, though I wasn't really focusing on this game. I'm gonna try not to say anything that, um, I've been mentioned before. Yeah, that is what you need to grab before heading to the room. So while it's a destination that wasn't where you're supposed to go to first, ultimately. Yes, yeah, using the death sentence. Not to be used as a weapon. Even though it is no butter knife from the looks of it. Subtitles would be such a great thing, especially when post-commentary, um, 
having the volume turned down enough where you can like barely hear it. And this is pretty much what I'll be doing for the rest of the video. Betteling Virgil, it's called. You know more about him if you've played the third DMC. I believe chronologically, DMC is the first in the series. And DMC, um, C2 would be the last in the series, um, I'm not sure which game takes place, the first, or fourth, but um, I have to do research again. It, it's just got a very similar weapon to yours, um, if you use the Devil Striker you can almost certainly get a few hits on it, um, without it hitting you back, um, but, um and if you keep using your sword or shotgun, whatever, even if you're not doing damage to an enemy, it's like long as you're hitting an enemy and not some wall, um, you will slowly, um, although not that slowly, restore your devil's trigger. Keep that in mind, you don't have to do damage to restore it at all. I remember like barely, barely complete this, I barely, barely succeeded it. Can't imagine me getting a good grade on it. But now I can use it once again. Careful, um, shoot those things at ya. So this game is really good looking for a PlayStation 2 game. Especially a fairly early one. You can tell, even today, this game looked awesome back then. Mission clear. Kind of struggled a bit, and yeah, I got a D. I deserved it, but still, damn. But um, I shall see you all in the next part. This is Game Bro. See you all in the next video.